Hey YouTubers, this is Ultimate Fire 10 here with another quick video. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, showing you how to download, install, and run Refit as well as uninstall Refit. Now, since my Mac is getting to the end of the end of its life, I figured I'd spruce it up a bit. So here we go. Uh, I'm at the Google website, and um, obviously Sochi Olympics are going on right now, and they have a Google Doodle theme for Sochi Olympics. Now let's just look up Refit as an R E F R E F I T for Mac. And uh, you you really want to look at the wiki first to read what it's about, which I really didn't explain. Refit is a boot menu and maintenance toolkit for EFI-based machines like the Intel Max, which is what I have now. It can be used to boot multiple operating systems, including triple boot set setups with boot bootcamp. It also provides a way to enter and explore the EFI pre-boot environment. The name Refit is likely a play on the terms Refit and EFI. It's very useful to know, but uh, we actually need to get to the download and install. So there's going to be a SourceForge website. And uh, the latest version is 0 .1 0 0.14, and that's 6.5 megabyte Mac disk image. Click on download that, and uh, as you may have noticed, it is not supported anymore, so that's the latest version you're probably going to get. And I'm just going to go ahead and let this download, and uh, see you in just a second, guys. Okay, so uh, my thing did download, and here it is, refit 0 0.14 DMG, so I'm going to double click on it, and it's going to verify that it is real, and... Um, uh, you see all this stuff. Uh, an app that comes with it is called Partition Inspector, and it's a great tool. It just checks how things are doing. I'm gonna go click the M package, which is um, it gives you a beautiful uh, refit installer, which is really really handy. You can go ahead and um, install it, and it does take relatively fast, and it is done. All right, so you see this refit logo out here. Maybe run, what does that do? I believe it opens up the DMG. Now keep this DMG open. Don't just eject it yet. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your hard drive. You're gonna go to your hard drive. In uh, my case, it's called Sid's MacBook Pro, but it's the file that has all this stuff, including the refit thing. You gotta expand MacBook Pro HD. You see all this crap. Well, what really, you really want is to get the EFI folder. So you see all this stuff here. You wanna select, shift, and move it to trash. Then just delete the EFI folder. So that's awesome. We don't have any more stuff, but we do need to replace that EFI folder with this one. So you're going to have to drag this to MacBook Pro, and it does create another one, but this time it's much more stable and it works. The other one didn't work. For some reason, it wasn't booting up. I had to figure out something else. All right, now you can exit out of that DMG. You can minimize it, throw it in the trash, whatever. So I just wanted to show you what I did with Refit and some pictures of how it looked. So here's Refit on my MacBook Pro um, when it first starts up. And it's a very quick thing to use. You just press enter to which one you want to boot. There's also a shutdown, restart, and parti partition inspector option. Now here's um, me running Ubuntu from the Refit bootloader on my Mac. It's very fast. It's awesome. And uh, it, it works perfectly fine. Alright, so now that's done, now I'm going to show you how to uninstall it. So once you're in the SIDS MacBook Pro folder, or your MacBook Pro, whatever it's called, click on the EFI folder, unscroll from it, right-click Tools, move to Trash, right-click Refit, move it to Trash, and don't delete the EFI folder. If you want to use it in the future, right-click Get Info, and put a period in front of it. This way, a Mac Dex is an invisible file, and it doesn't take up space, or doesn't leave space or anything. So if you don't want to refit, however, just right click, move it to trash. Now you have to do more though. Open an app uh, such as App Trash or App Cleaner, and this gets rid of the file very, very quickly for you. And uh, drag your refit right into here and move it to your trash. Then if you want to completely get rid of it, empty your trash. There we go. Empty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank and uh, like and subscribe. Really appreciate it, and I, I think I'm going to release a new one next week. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.